Hey there, thanks for tuning in for the top seven rock cuts of the week. We've got some really cool ones this week. Some of my favorites that I've cut in quite some time and definitely a couple contenders for new favorites in general. Here's a look at the rocks and thank you to all the current subscribers. Let me know your favorites down in the comments and welcome if you're new to the channel. I hope you like this too and consider subscribing to see more cool rock videos like this one. All the rocks were found in Northern Nevada by me. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's check out this rock. So obviously from the outside, it looks pretty cool. We have blue and pink banding that was very apparent on the side we were just looking at, which was the fractured face. The rest of the rock is more muted in terms of its color, but you can still see some pink and some blue. But here we come to that face again with the fracture and just really pretty. It was so pretty that I almost didn't want to cut it, but I'm really glad that I did because I think the pattern that's inside is even cooler than what we could see on the outside. And look at that. The one on the left looks like an Easter egg to me. But this is a gorgeous wonder stone and it's a little bit different than what we normally see. We've got blues and pinks and reds and yellows and there's distinct zoning, which you can see where the rock has been fractured and then healed. And those veins or cracks in this one are filled in with a black material, which is pretty unique. This little end cut might be my favorite just because it's kind of egg shaped. And here we can see the other half and we get a bit more of that really cool blue, pink and yellow banding going on on the right hand side of the rock. So this looks to me like a brecciated Wonderstone, although the banding and the patterns are a little bit unique, but a very cool one and one of my favorites for sure. Okay, let's check out this rock. So from the outside, you can see that we're dealing with a lighter colored material overall. There's some tans and some whites. There's a little bit of red coloration going on. And then when we get to this side, there were a couple of small little crystal windows, or that's what it looked like to me from the outside that you can see there on the rock. And I was curious as to what it would look like on the inside. And look at that. That is a stunner. Wow. So we have a couple different little lakes or pockets of a crystal or agate material. You can see there's a bit of banding going on in there, but really nice blue and white and gray color gradients there. Really pretty. Let's look at the individual halves here. Around the blues and whites looks like a moss agate, sort of. And as you can see, there's a little bit of pitting going on, possibly from gas bubbles during the formation that you can see. And it looks like there's flow banding as well. And kind of interesting, outside of the agate material, the tan material kind of comes in in right angle steps on the side of the rock, which is interesting but really, really pretty, and not what I was expecting. This is also a contender for my new favorite. Very cool. Okay, let's check out this rock. So from the outside, you can see we've got a little bit of different coloration going on. We've got grays or maybe kind of a steely blue, as well as white or crystal looking material. It looks like there's banding going on, so I thought it would probably look pretty nice on the inside, but this is much prettier than I thought it was going to be. This is a gorgeous banded agate here, and it's a unique one as well with the bands and the coloration. There's a lot going on here, as you can see. So the bands are fine grained and rhythmically patterned, which suggests a slow cooling, and it is just so pretty the colors and the bands. The brown in there is actually really nice against the white and the blue. 
I haven't found too many that look like this, and this is definitely one of the larger ones, just really gorgeous. Let's take a look at the other half. And when I put a flashlight on this, almost all of it lights up. The parts that are a little less translucent are the bluish parts, but the rest of it lights up. Also a contender for my new favorite rock. Okay, let's check out this rock. So from the outside, we've got some dark coloration going on, but what was interesting to me is that there was a green kind of tint to some of the rock. And I wanted to see if that carried through and it also just seemed kind of interesting. So let's take a look at the inside. And that is really cool. This looks like a brecciated jasper and we can see a little bit of the green tint coming through where the two halves are touching in the center of the rock. And let's zoom in here a little bit. So as you can see, the fragments are angular. We've got various colors going on and they're suspended in a fine grain matrix. Let's take a look at the individual halves here and it's really quite pretty. There's the classic dark reddish brown in the upper right hand corner of this rock and then the other fragments are the darkish green tinted kind of material. And then as you can see, some of the smaller fragments are all sorts of colors and there's quite a lot of them going on, especially in this sort of middle part of the rock here, but a really pretty, really interesting one. Okay, let's check out this rock. So this is a bigger one and it's not my best cut of all time, but I did get through it. So you can see here from the outside, we have a few different zones of color, which looked interesting to me. And then it also looked like there was an eye potentially there. And the way the rock looks at the top there was interesting as well. So just overall, I thought this looked like an interesting piece. Some caliche on the bottom there. Let's take a look at the inside. And that is really pretty. So we have different zones of coloration on the inside as well, but they don't really match up with the exterior of the rock. So we have blues and whites and grays, and then a little bit of red and yellow that's stronger towards the bottom of the rock, but you can see some faint red or pink staining in the veins throughout the rock. And then we have what looks like a much darker and maybe different material, just a tiny bit of it on the left-hand side of this half. And here's a look at the other half. And the blue color is a little bit stronger on this half maybe, contrasting with the white and just really nice colors. And this is a really pretty one. I, I haven't seen one that looks quite like this in terms of the colors and the patterns, but really pretty. Okay, let's check out this rock. So it should be pretty obvious why this one was cool or why I wanted to pick it up. There's very interesting Wonderstone banding going on on the top of the rock and interesting coloration going on throughout. But the eye pattern in the center and the banding around it just looked really cool to me. Here's the underside of the rock. Patterns aren't as strong here, but still have nice color variation going on. This was also a great shape for the tile saw. And that is really nice on the inside. So we have the same color pattern going on. This is a classic Wonderstone in terms of the color and the patterns. Not necessarily a candy Wonderstone with the pinks and the whites and the yellows or the bright yellows. This does have yellow, but more of a dark Wonderstone and a nice one. This has some really cool banding, particularly at the top part of the rock where there's a strong contrast between the red and the yellow. You can see it on this half as well. There are a couple of eyes going on also on the rock and just really pretty banding and coloration and patterns. A really nice example of a darker Wonderstone. Okay, let's check out this rock. From the outside, you can see we've got a lighter colored material, a little bit of desert patina on this side. On this part of the rock, it was rounded, which I thought was interesting. And it looked like there were some streaks of color running through the otherwise mostly white material. And let's take a look at the bottom of the rock. And it looks like there's 
some purple there running through the white. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside, and that is really nice. There are a couple different zones of color going on here with a purple towards the center and then a grayish among the pretty white banding that's going on on the rest of the rock. Let's take a look at the individual halves here, and you can see the bands going through this a little bit better, as well as some of the veins that have filled in with the purple-red color. Really interesting and a really pretty one. I haven't seen one that's exactly like this. The two pieces look very nice together as well, and I like the way that the banding looks on it. All right, well, that's it for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in and checking out these rocks with me. This is my favorite group of rocks in a while, so I hope that you enjoyed them. If you made it this far, please give the video a like. And if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. And if you're not currently subscribed and you like the video, please subscribe to see more videos like this. And I will see you next time.